silicons with liquid or paste catalyst. Mixing technique in two phases with a liquid catalyst. Place your fingers in the silicon jar to moisten them before selecting the required quantity of silicon, in this case, bland rosé, to make the orthosis. The quantity of silicon that is to be used is weighed on the scales, in this example, 5 grams. Kneading of the silicon is recommended just before adding the catalyst. This way the silicon will have a smooth texture before making the orthosis. It is then placed on the fingers and a small hollow is formed where the catalyst will be added. For a quantity of 5 grams, 5 drops of reactor will be used in two phases. Firstly, 2 drops of the catalyst will be added and the mixture will be mixed quickly and energetically for approximately 20 seconds, achieving an even mixture in which the catalyst will have penetrated completely. Mixing must always be done with energy and using force with your fingers from the outside inwards. Please observe where the silicon is held in the fingers while it's being mixed. This is the optimum position. Another hollow is made in the silicon in order to add another two to three drops of the catalyst. It is mixed as in the previous phase quickly and energetically, although for less time, since the catalyst added in the first phase will already be carrying out its function of hardening. As seen in dual silicon, the mixture is rolled into a ball. This will also help to control the silicon once it hardens. When the silicon has reached the required consistency, it is applied to the foot and is delicately formed into the desired shape. In this way, we have produced an extremely comfortable orthosis for the patient, especially in geriatric cases. After this process, you must wait 8 or 10 minutes before the silicon acquires its maximum elasticity and sponginess. The mixing technique is based on adding the liquid catalyst in two phases, thus reducing the amount of catalyst needed, even though the amount of mixing time is increased in order to achieve the final elasticity and sponginess of the orthosis that is being made. It is very important to adhere to the recommended amount of catalyst and mixing times, taking into account that the more catalyst used, the less amount of working time and vice versa. Later on in this video, we will show some errors that can be made when mixing silicons. The following table shows approximate quantities of reactol needed for each weight of orthosis.